everybody, this is Tina from the Chris and Tina Johnson Project, and today we are all going to discuss the super duper fast and easy green bean casserole. It's Kinder Leicht, which means it's kid easy. And we need one can of cream of mushrooms, then we would need two cans of green beans. And then all you need is a safe, oven safe dish, like a Pyrex or anything like that. But most importantly, the first thing that you need to do is to wipe the top of the cans. It's so important because there are tons of germs, there's just tons of bacteria and viruses, especially now with the virus going around. Wipe the top of the can, wipe the everything of the can. I mean, wash it if you can. I keep bleach solution in a spray bottle so that it's easy to use. Just make sure that you like our um, little video that we have um, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel because it really would help us. Hey look there's Hello Kitty! Um, anyway I was saying that um, subscribe to the channel and um, okay huh? I'm sorry I'm confusing huh? y'all but the virus is bacteria and all that. We're talking about the green bean dish. So let's talk about that a little bit more. Just make sure that you click the bell so that you'll be informed of new videos that we have. You can use fresh beans too. All you need to do is boil them in salt water. Not Mr. Bean. Okay, cool beans, got that. But we're not talking about that. You cannot, yeah. You cannot use pork and beans either. I'm talking about the normal green beans and don't use hairspray on that. Okay, just boil fresh beans in salt water. You can do that. After which, uh, we'll go back to the canned beans. So it's an easy dish. Children can do this. Just open it up with a can opener. You can use a manual one. Uh, I don't recommend using a knife, although I do know how to do that in case of emergency. But do not do that because you can cut your fingers. You can cut your fingers either way. Ouch. So did you know that these beans, the canned beans, have vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin K? folate, manganese, well just make sure that you drain the, the cans now since you know you don't want it all soupy but it also has like traces of vitamin B1, B2, B3 and vitamin B6, potassium, iron and even magnesium so I mean you're eating something healthy so now you're at the part where you can empty the cream of mushroom in a dish it's a little bit thick so it's like really hard to get it out of the can but just bear with it it'll just come out slowly you can use a spoon or you know whatever works also there are a vitamin B5 calcium zinc copper and Selenium. Oh, these little things are so cute. I like them. Woohoo! But now we are ready for the beans. So just mix the drained beans. You don't need to add water because, you know, they're already a little bit watery. So even if you boiled the beans, they would still have a little bit of water. So the amount of, you know, liquid is enough. It's sufficient. Just make sure that you mix it enough. Oh, here's a little kitty. Okay. So then add half a cup of cheese. I kind of just winged it. Um, you can use any kind of cheese. I think I used um, like a Mexican cheese or American cheese, but you can use any cheese if you want Swiss, if you want, I don't know, provolone, whatever. Whatever fa you fancy is fine. It's not a big deal. You can do it whichever way. And just remember to like our video. And there we go, just mix it up. You can mix the cheese with it. And for, don't forget to um, subscribe now. All right, you can mix the cheese with it and then sprinkle some on top. It'll give it like a nice brown crusty thing on top, like a crust on top. I'm sorry, I'm boring you. Um, just bear with me, okay? So just mix it up a little. I'm sorry if I'm boring you. I'm sorry, Jim. Anyway, just mix it up um, and then after you mix it up you can put some dehydrated onions in it i like dehydrated onions um but you can use fresh onions or you can use no onions it really depends on you whatever you fancy however you like it is perfect have it your way any which way <laughs> yep 
So, but just make sure that you mix it well. And uh, let's speed it up a little bit. Okay, there we go. Yep, cooking is hard, but hey, um, this is super easy, really super easy, because once you mix it up, all you have to do is set your oven at 375, and there you go, I didn't even preheat the oven, I just put it in, um, once I turned it on, um, just add some salt and pepper, or just salt, or just pepper, or no salt, or no pepper, have it your way it doesn't really matter how you want it it's your own preference but um you can also have nothing on it yep that's not a problem then once you put it in um just keep it in there bake it in the oven for about 30 minutes 35 however you want it and then after 30 minutes voila you have your green bean casserole <laughs> It's in black and white. What do you expect? I mean, it is good. If you take my word for it, try it for yourself. I promise it's good. I really promise. So subscribe and like and comment and let us know how we did, how we can do better. Thank you so much for watching the Chris and Tina Johnson project. Keep on watching. We'll have a ton of other shows and keep your chin up. You know, there's always stuff to look up for. Um, just watch below too because you might stumble and keep your eyes on the Lord. That's the most important thing. Right? Keep on watching. Till next time. God bless.